Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40 Take Inquisitor Martyr in a, another round, in the next round and this time we are for a little change, not directly, well directly, anyhow not playing against some corn or some KOC enemies but against them Drukhari. Alright, the breathing. A nest of Drukhari pirates has been identified in an abandoned, abandoned facility. Thanks to the valiant, though not completely, selfless, selfless efforts of a rogue trader captain. These raiders were responsible for severely deadly attacks against Imperial vessel, vessels in the system. Orders purge the nest of the Dark Elder. Pirates objectives clear the entire area of hostiles to complete the mission. Exterminate all. Only corruption lies beyond the veil. There is nothing but suffering and death beneath the stars. Oh yeah, that's so true. Um, I am quite interested, not about the bloody trap claimers here, but how the, not the multi motor but how the bolt gun, or the heavy bolt that we precise is actually going to hold up against those guys here. And not only the smaller, oh my god, this is absolutely great, I think, against those little dark elder. That is quite nice. I sometimes, as you have seen, my grenade did not hit what I intended to, or it hit technically hit what it meant, but most times I am under the impression that the if you throw the grenade of over larger amounts of enemies, that it somehow does not fly over them. And this time it did not work out. Very, very sad for me, but I'll accept it. So quickly take those. Oh, I've ever seen this little guy. Okay. Let's bring him down quickly. Come on. Oh, ooh, the little explosion there. Absolutely great. So we have a bigger enemy in here. I don't know what kind of enemy, but we will find out. The large group of these little small guys, I don't even know their names to be precise, but I will try to bring them down with a little grenade of mine. Can I actually throw the grenade? Or oh yeah! And there was a splendid hit, in my humble opinion. Okay, I don't know. Sometimes the, that I realized it is from the beginning of the game. The Tarantula bolt gun here is, is, is really, really amazing in certain situations. But once or if the enemy is walking around it, it slowly turns and tries to find the enemy, which can be exactly not what you want. You want the gun to um, immediately turn around and fire. But I guess that's just a thing you need to get used to. So the Incurious is going to be quickly dealt with like so. Do we have anything of interest in here? Like a chest? No, although I enjoy the lightning on the left quite immensely. All right. To the left now we go and seek new kinds of challenges. Alright, but there may not be anything right here. Down, down, down. Let those guys explode. And I think I have the feeling we need to take care of the flying angel immediately and their time is over. I need the inoculator taken in. Come on, Cortez, come on, come down. Grenade nicely flew into them, that's great, but we are a little bit in a problem without any suppression resistance. Let's fire everything at the Scourge. These guys are so nasty because what you have seen when the suppression resistance is down, 
they just bring hell upon you. Maybe small mistake done there by me. I sh should have taken out all the enemies um, on the last room before I got on. But anyhow, sometimes mistakes need to be done to get on. Good test is gone. This one is gone. And one room straight through, which I will deal with immediately. And gladly, to be precise. Quickly fall. There's a scourge. I don't know whether I can deal with it immediately. I, of course, would like to. And for that, I'll, of course, use the multi-matter against. And this... Okay, good, good, good. The ritual is broken. These guys normally, if you have not seen it before, I don't believe, when they um, they cannot connect, but they can, I guess you can call it, sacrifice themselves. And then a bloody Nurgle Demon spawns and attacks you. But I hardly, hardly let that happen, because it is, if you go time-wise, I think, way quicker to take Okay, no box to take them down single-handedly than the demon which spawns. Fun fact, but that is just how my mind is working. As good as the bolt gun is, you see with certain armored enemies, it is just more useful to let the multi melter let the talking, like with the Scourge. Okay, bloody shield down like that because it takes so long time until it cools down. Okay, he down. This one down and then we have already nearly killed all of those enemies here. Okay, that one down as well. Reload, on we go, on we go. Those are goners as well. Oh my god, what the hell? I hate Gurches. They're in. If you play hunts with those guys, I, I of course mean hunt missions, then these guys are often escorting those nasty Kronoses or in the end pain engines. And this is a really, really hard composition there. The um, really heavily armored enemy. Um, which by itself does not do the greatest damage, but in the end, once your suppression resistance is completely taken down by those scourges, then you are really in a world of hurt. So we have a red enemy coming up. I assume it's going to be a scourge or a um, pain engine, but I... But we will find that out pretty damn quickly so i for change reload and then dark elder gonna um i think it would be the smartest if i take that group down before i face the pain engine okay it's guarded by medusa which is good because then the fight ain't that hard okay that was really good that one's gone, and only a couple of guys remain here. Okay, these two gone, and then on we can. Switching to the multi melter for a change. We are already losing in um, suppression resistance, which of course ain't really the greatest, but what shall I do? Do you see that there the grenade did not fly over, it got stuck with the snake guy. That is sometimes a little bit weird in my humble little opinion here. Okay, so he then quickly 
loses a Talos. I co um, completely forgot that is quickly taken down here. There, there the bolt guns, the sentry guns, of course, are in. Are doing a good work, especially if it's our um, if it's our three of them, then the enemy's resistance, suppression resistance, goes down quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh yeah, I did. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, the chainsaw we have. Then we can exit and quickly see what kind of items we have received here. Maybe good ones, maybe great ones, but let's see what kind of items it are. I love the um, demon dog in the background there. Quite the image, I think. Alright, the... Um, Scatter field might be good. That we will find out in a second. Let's see. Nothing of roof here. 142. Well, not too too good, I think. The auto gun 430. Let's see. The bolt gun, of course, is a little bit more of the damage dealer in comparison. There, in comparison. No, I don't know. Sometimes. English is a very hard <laughs> language, so to say. All right, we have plus 10 HP per second. It's an upgrade. It does bonus damage. I'll take it. So upgrade we have. Okay, 144 plus health regeneration. I'll, I'll dig that. And that brings us to a small upgrade there. But in the end, guys, that brings us to the end of this episode. And you know it, I... As usual, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, I will see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.